Ah, it's deprogrammed. My name is Justin Wilson, and I'm your host of sorts. Listen, there's all there's so much you can do to help this program, including but not limited to subscribing on iTunes, subscribing on Google Play, subscribing on Stitcher. You can share these links as they come out. Hey, man, the best way for you to help out is going to patreon.com slash oh hi justin because not only do you get deprogrammed you get deprogrammed a couple days early actually before it hits all those other platforms you also get wrestle pals in audio form you also get whatever video content from wrestle pals is coming out you also get anything these ghouls related uh right now it's just i did the acoustic demos and that's it uh, but those are there on on at the one dollar level. You give me a dollar a month, you get to hear uh, the the growth of the these ghouls songs, and also coming soon to the Patreon is a Oh Hi Justin podcast, which is going to be a daily pod that I'm going to do. Uh, it's going to be kind of journal like, probably like 15, 20 minutes depending, and I'm going to branch that out into some video stuff. Like over the summer, I'm going to do with my kids. Uh, school's out uh, with dad. And we're going to play some video games together, and it's going to be me and the kids, and all sorts of other stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, the return of the program today, because, uh, well, 2017 didn't end ceremoniously for Deprogrammed. And, um, you know, really for RFR in general, it didn't exactly pan out the way we hoped. But, uh, that being said, this man, let's see, this is the 11th episode back. 11th episode back, and it took this long. Ladies and gentlemen, the return of the program, the fan of the game, the bear of the game. What the hell? <laughs> Fredo <laughs> Torres! What the hell is with the bear thing again? <laughs> Jesus! Well, uh, <laughs> the episode of the monkeys, Yes, that's where that was born, yes, yes. and you became the bear. The bear and... of the game. <laughs> uh it's wonderful to have you back, friend. It's wonderful to be back, my friend. Uh, you know, when we were going through all the stuff with the station at, at the end of the year, uh, you know, you said you should do deprogrammed, like not in a forceful way, not in a, but like I think you knew how much I love doing the show. Well, it's well, it's a great show. I oh, mean, the concept that was a great. day, uh, an invitation for ass kissery. By the way, that's that just <laughs> there's no need. First of all, there's no need to ask for ass kissery, but we're doing this in. My hotel room. Yes. And can I tell you? Can I tell you how much this feels like? I'm a mob informant, <laughs> and like you're taking testimonial, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting for you to, you know, uh, Steve Pinto says hello me. But <laughs> yeah, you know. By the way, it's now Liv Morgan says hello. Mm. I don't. I, she can um me any day. Hey, it's hey, not hey. The same. It's not the hey, same. I'm hey. just saying. Let's not go there. All right. <laughs> uh. So today we're doing a best of 2017. Like I said, uh, 2017 didn't exactly go how we wanted. And it's right. funny, like, uh, I finally got a chance to sit down to put together the the master list for, for the 2017 episode. And it turns out I only did, I think I did 21 episodes, but one of them was the best of 2016 episode. <laughs> So we only did 20, 20 episodes right. last year before it all fell apart. And, you know, that when, I, when I'm when i looking at it, I'm like, yeah, like, the signs were there. But, you know, like, f- half of February, we didn't do anything. Right. Some of January, we didn't do anything. Yeah, there, was a, there, was, there was a lot of periods of inactivity. Right. And so, you know, I show you the list. <laughs> Uh, the the twenty the twenty songs I picked from the twenty bands that we did and you're like it's all nineties yeah so so here's here's the way I want to play this out okay behind you there's a pad mm-hmm. okay all that crap is on you you just take the pad okay and then here's it's it's in the the portfolio right underneath all the keys yeah right there right, oh. there you go don't worry about it that's all fine no no, no it's, you're you're writing because I gotta hold the I gotta hold the mic because it's you know my testimonial oh yes okay. And there should be a pen in there. No pen? No pen. Okay, there's a pen. Oh, you oh. have like 800 somewhere. There's right... <laughs> that's... That's almost... Almost uh, uh, accurate. I've got actually probably about <laughs> 950 now. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, but anyway. So here's the way I propose we do this. Uh-huh. You... Because there's only 20. And it's only the two of us. Right. So we're jumping... We're going to... When we jump in... Uh, 
I pr- we're jumping into the second round immediately. Right, pretty right. much. So it's yay or nay. Yeah. And then here's what I say. It's it should be yay or maybe. Okay. Okay, and yay, maybe, nay. So we got the yays, mm-hmm. automatic top automatic ten. Automatic top ten. Okay, the nays, automatic out. Uh-huh. Then the maybes are the maybes. Now, because you're going to be shooting them out, and I'm just going to be reacting to them, mm-hmm. if, for some reason, we don't get ten yays, right. and don't get enough maybes, then we go back over the nays, and see which ones we can and pull out. And see which one we can pull out. Yeah. Well, I mean, the only other other option I had was just basically just elimination. So, I mean, at least it's this is... the same shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but before we jump into that, uh, as we're recording this, it's the end of June. Right. And just around the corner, you know, two Sundays from now. Yes. Very big uh, Sunday, hopefully. It's, it, yeah, yeah, Still we, up in the air. Yeah, I'm waiting on a couple of people to, to Actually, respond Actually, while I was waiting for you, uh, James responded, and he's he's in. He's so in. now we're just waiting on Corey to give the affirmation. But we're finally doing the Fredo sessions. Yes. <laughs> Which I, I'm excited about it because I've never had a session. <laughs> it know? sounds like a band. Like, it, you know. it, 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 it sounds like the basement tapes. Yeah. You know, it's something like... like that was rare, and it was put out, and and you're putting it out for extra money. You know, like the band is is it's, it's had its run of albums, mm-hmm. and and it's and it, they've disbanded, but they still come out with these, you know, the the Fredo sessions. Like, oh, oh my God, that's great! We gotta buy it and we collect them, kind of deal. So I'm 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 all about the Fredo sessions. It's it was just a fun way to make an excuse to come up and see you, right? And. Uh, I put it into post haste because you said, "Well, I'm moving to Richmond anyway." I was like, oh, "Okay, well, let's." They'll be, they'll be uh, telling that stuff, just throwing it out. Oh, it. I'm over here like you know, like a mob informer, and I'm just telling everybody where I live now. I meant Richmond, British Columbia. Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Richmond, Kentucky is where I'm moving to. You're moving. You're moving. Right. We'll, we'll leave it at that. Yeah, because you're gonna edit that out. <laughs> hmm. No. <laughs> exactly. But <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't like my business out there. Oh, I got you. I got people. Listen, I, I got you. Uh, but so I was like, you know what? Let's go visit Fredo. We'll we'll get a, a a group of people. We'll travel up and visit them. And even if Fredo's not in all the episodes, we'll we'll make them Fredo bands essentially. Right, right, right. So the uh, the band's coming up. Yes. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Alice Cooper Part Two. I can't wait. I'm actually really excited about that. I know. Because uh, after listening to it, uh, we'll, we'll, I don't want to give too much, it, but yeah. I'll just say after listening to it, it's um, I'm You're excited. pleasantly shocked. Yes. Right. Um, Def Leppard. Yep. Can't wait to talk about I I, I honestly cannot wait to talk about all these bands I for know. different reasons. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, Def Leppard. Motley Crue. Which is, uh, let me tell you, just as a little hint, mm-hmm. they hold up better than people think. Yes. I, I uh, yeah. And there's, Yes. Because you ju- you ended up initially you weren't in the crew episode, and we had a conversation a couple weeks ago. You know, right, like, right. let, let me get on that one. I was like, all right, oh. it'll be more fun with as a four four way. Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. And then uh, last but not least, Iron Maiden. I can't wait for that one. You, it's what's funny about Iron Maiden is you tossed out Iron Maiden shortly after the show came back, like before I started right. recording. But like I was like, okay, the, the show's coming back, right. and Andy jumped right on. Oh yeah. And then I was like, okay, well, let's just figure out a, a when and where. Right. So, and again, like I said, this is just a fun way to do four episodes with you and go make it a thing. Right, right, right. And record four episodes at once so I can take a couple weeks off. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and start, because the best thing about, and I say this every episode, and I'm sorry if anybody listens to every episode and hears me say this every episode, I apologize, but... uh the best thing I'm doing this time around, with all the space and like trying to record as many op- episodes as I can at a time, right. uh, I'm actually getting to research sooner. Like all these bands, uh, the the four that we just talked about, right? I've already done the research. I just have to go back and make my last cuts, right. and then you know that week I'll listen to all 20 songs of each, right? Just so I have talking points. It's making the show a lot easier for me. It, it, that's good. Yeah, that's good. And I'm hoping. If if this ends up being successful, that uh, you know every couple of months you guys come up and or, or I can come down. Yeah. And, you know now that I'm not in London, Kentucky's not I mean, not London, uh, Richmond, Paris, Kentucky. Kentucky. Uh, yeah, yeah, Paris, Kentucky's not that far away. 
<laughs> um, and uh, Richmond, Nova Scotia is not that far away. That's... So we can come down here. Of course, I messed up <laughs> Nova Scotia. <laughs> Wow, it's a good thing I haven't done radio forever. It, uh, you're you're moving like every second. Yeah, <laughs> never <laughs> never in one place, never in one place. Alfredo Torres. <laughs> oh, now I also wanted to talk to you about. Uh, there's an idea up in the air uh, uh, that you pitched to me like shortly after the the station died, <laughs> and you I was still up in the air whether it, I was going to bring. It was shortly after the breakup of the station where I saw you there, and I was like. Hey, come over here. <laughs> well, the, you, you over there are lonely. Come on. You, I wasn't sure if I was going to de- bring the program back. Right, I right, just, right. I love doing the show, but I was burnt out at that point. You know, the only one I was sure was happening was Russell Pals. Right. And even that took like three weeks off, oh, I think, yeah. in between. Right. Um, but then we got back to it, and now you can get it on the Patreon. Ooh, can you? You can also subscribe to it on all those other places that i said before oh wow also nuclear club club rules uh they're a band from scotland i didn't tell you this uh they're a band from scotland they reached out to me and said hey we really love your show would you listen to our band and i mean i thought that was a unique approach whether they listen to the show or not (laughs) (laughs) you you can't you know what are you gonna do call them liars yeah so i was like you know what i'm gonna listen to this band and they're awesome the the program yeah, they they like deprogrammed. Oh, nice, I was nice, like, nice. I was like, wait, you guys like the show? Yeah, we love deprogrammed. It's a great, it's a great concept. Yeah, I mean, it's it if if you're willing to sit through some of the bands that you don't like, honestly, I think those are the better episodes because you find out find out why people like said right, band, right, right? And you know, maybe maybe it doesn't change your tune on on the band, but. At least you understand why people like it. Why some of your friends are stupid. <laughs> Sometimes. I'll call it. I'll call well, it. you know, it, like Paramore was like, I don't want to say life changing, but it, it definitely changed your it, life. <laughs> it, it it definitely altered my thinking. Right. On because I thought they were just you know they they made it because Ashley Simpson and Avril Lavigne. Right. Because it, it all all that was all at the same time, right, right, and right. I was way wrong, and I was. Again, those are those pleasant surprises where you where you dig into a band and it's like you know what, mm-hmm. you know maybe they are not going to be some band I'm going to constantly listen to, but if my but wife, if they're on yeah. if they're if they're on I'm not changing it right it's, right right it's good I dig it, um, but shortly after the station fell down, uh, and I was still up in the air about deprogrammed. You said you know I've I've got this much simpler idea something that we can do like you know one album a week essentially right and 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 it's okay so I put out. Just real quick, I put out an album of the day right. on, on my Facebook page, um, and I give a little bit of history about it, and at the end, I call, I, I always say, you know, blah, 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 spin it. Mm-hmm. So, the idea behind the show is, pick up an album, and just talk about it as fans. Right. Not talk about it like some audio engineer, or some... You, you know, guy who's deep into oh, and this is where you know the, listen to the double beats on the uh, on the bass and the way it's not. Nah, I, I don't want anything that you you know. I I listen to a lot of music stuff, and I hate when people get into detail, yeah. over detail. You know, because well, then you, they lose you. The, right, exactly. The interesting part of the conversation's over. Right, exactly. It's like I I, I don't care about the techniques. Mm-hmm. I really don't. I care about the music. And so, the the goal here is, is is um, and I'd like to do it to you, but I know your schedule, so it, it'll be something either I do with you or I do by myself or with a you know a different guest host. We take an album, and we spin it, and we talk about the tracks, we talk about the albums, you know what it means to us if it's something from our past. Um, and so at some point I'd like to you know you and I record a few shows and. Throw it out there and see what the people think. And if the people like it, it's something I'd like to continue. You know, my way of kind of easing back into podcasting. Well, my, my thought is I've got the Oh Hi Justin now, the mm-hmm. Patreon, that it's basically the umbrella of everything I'm doing. Right. So, yeah. I mean, and again, with Deprogrammed, I'm trying to schedule, I'm trying to record multiple at a time. Right, right. More. So, I mean, that's something, you know, we, we talked about, you know, maybe 
like 30 minute conversation like yeah, let the conversations no. breathe but right. like also they don't need to be overly wordy no no so you know i feel like that's something we could do two or three at a time easily exactly and i mean as long as it remains something like that i'm in i that, that I, I don't want to again go too de- you know too much detail after about a half hour now you got to talk about how you know anton fig was drumming here and this track and you know the, the they were having bad you know, uh, drug episodes, and <laughs> and they used they they brought in the the Muscle Shoals musicians. Like, I don't give a shit about that. <laughs> I just want to say, hey, look, this is a feel good song. It's awesome. I like it. I, I like this part right here. Listen, listen. Uh, it's awesome, great. Yeah, <laughs> you know. And here's it. the part that loses me on the album. <clears throat> right. Exactly. Here's where they get me back. And, exactly. Yeah. This is how I feel about the album. This is what it, memories it digs up, or this is how it moves me, or. That's it. I don't. I don't want to get into any technical details or, or, or get into too much history about the band or any of that stuff. Well, all I'm trying to do is just like with, with my album of the day, give you a couple facts, uh, tell you about it, it here, break down tra- the tracks, and then uh, you know, I, I want you guys to go and listen to it and give it a shot. And if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Yeah. <clears throat> if nothing else, it'll be something fun. Right. So. Uh, that being said, we're going to dive in here. I don't expect that this is going to be a very long, long <laughs> episode. I but like I said, uh, you know, and I, I went to go do it, and I'm like, oh, man, only 20 bands. And then, like, I'm looking at the, the songs from each, and I'm like, some of the... Because I, I want to say you are you were on three or four of these episodes. So, okay. like, those ones, I was like, okay, so I need to make these difficult. I can't, right. I can't make... Any Fredo automatics, right? Essentially, and, and, and then and you did that by making sure everything sounded like it was the nineties. <laughs> Every goddamn like I'm listening to this. This is what made me change everything because mm-hmm. I hated it all. It's like this is everything is nineties, man. This is all you know. This is all shit that you, that you eighties, nineties, and today. That's where you hear this kind of. It's like ah, well, and you know we went we went in. Uh, I, I'm looking over all the bands, and I mean, most of them are '90s bands. Yeah. Like, there's, there's only so much I can do well, about yeah, the bands I mean, that we did. Essentially, here you go. Uh, the number one band is the Gin Blossoms. Number two is the Goo Goo Dolls. Number three is the Zombies. I mean, you know, I mean, come on for the Cranberries. I mean, come on. It's, that's what I felt like. like Hootie and the Blowfish. You know? I mean, come on. Well, just to go over some of these bands, not a surf. Was last there, year. There it is. Stone Temple Pilots. Uh, they might be giants. The Flaming Lips. The Afghan Wigs. Ween. Uh, you know, there's some Metallica in there. Sick Man is very 90s. Um, I mean, you've got, you know, the Monkees in there. Depeche Mode. Right. you got Britney Spears <laughs> and Justin Timberlake. Uh, now, looking at the. And Stevie Wonder. Like 60s Stevie right, Wonder. Right, right, right. Which we had a discussion about yeah. that. Um. So to jump into the songs, like I said, we can't, we couldn't do like a list of our of our own each because there just wasn't enough songs to do. Right, right. So there's one song I want to put out here as I I just I don't think it stands up to the rest of them. First of all, all right. And as much as I like the band and I enjoyed that episode, I just don't I don't think it's one of the ten best. So you're gonna throw, you, you, so you're throwing I'm throwing this it under the bus. All right. I'm gonna see if you you agree. Okay. Uh, Propagandy. Night Letters. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I mean, it's a terrific song. I love it. Yeah. But I, I don't think it belongs. Get out. It just it, Get it out. is what it is. Get out. Propaganda. Shit. So we <laughs> both agree that that one's out. That's done. So now we're down to 19 songs. That was down to 19. This is going to be quick. <laughs> <laughs> now, going the op- opposite direction, there's one that I feel like absolutely has to be in. Right. It, it was arguably my favorite song of, I think we started playing it on the station like in 2016 All right. and like it was in heavy rotation on 2017 so this is this so this is a local band already absolutely it's one of my favorite songs that this band has ever done and it, to me it is is the song of 2017 mm-hmm. week high five biogliography first of all is that song older than that I don't, I don't think so. I used to play Ugliography back in the day, mm-hmm. but, you know, it's been a long time, so I can't remember. I love that song, by the way. What's that? Was that, was that Week mm-hmm. High Five? No. 
the uh, that's the closing credits. <laughs> Show's over already. <laughs> it All right, people's been great. Accidentally still playing. Oh, okay. All right, let's see. Maybe not. Okay, you're safe. Um, I hear something. Yeah, it's there. It's just. There, it's just. I really just want to kind of get. But the, the whole song Matt wrote because his ex wife gave a weak high five. Right. Seriously. Right. He's like, look, you gotta, you have to do better. Right. Like this is, it's not good enough. And then he wrote a song about it. I, I'm good with it. Um, yeah. I know we've got uh, at least one other local band. One other local and one pseudo local. Okay, so how about this? We'll give them a. They're not gonna be an automatic because we're gonna have to discuss all of the right, all of the um uh, local bands because I am not going to put. More than one local band. I am not. I will not vote for another local band. So it's got to be one. So I'm going to put them in the middle for now. Right. But to me, that's that's the one. I I'm, I, I can't argue with you, but we need to discuss what are the other bands and discuss what what the uh, you know what the songs are. All right. So that being said. And I, I played a, a brief blip of this before we went on. Um, I finally did the deep dive into Ween. Okay. And doing the Ween episode with, oddly enough, Matt Thomas from Ugliography. Right, right. Matt Holloman from Sick Man of Virginia. Oh, my God. They were the two panel members. And um, first of all, it's a blast. And Ween, Ween is funny because they are exactly what you think they are. But then there's moments where they're nothing like what yeah, you think they are. I've seen them at concerts, so yeah. I saw them uh, at the National, and what's funny is I went with my brother, and uh, I guess this was like in the downtime, and he said, I was blown away. I loved right. it. But like, I mean, you could tell something was off, but he goes like, dude, like I've seen them three times. This was like absolutely their worst. And I was like, I'd hate to see them like wow. on point because, wow. I, I saw them, oh geez, back, I don't know, 2005 or something like that, 2004. And uh, I was uh, okay, you know. I, I knew them, yeah. But I, I didn't dive into their in, into their stuff. Uh, I, so I was kind of like, yeah, whatever, man. Um, and that's kind of how I feel about it right now. Yeah. Um, like a whatever. Mm-hmm. We can put them in the middle and see if you're just an object to me. <laughs> it's just listening to that. I'm just like that's n- nothing like you think. What no, mean is no, absolutely not. Yeah, but by the same token, again, it's too early for me to, to concede. To concede, right, right. <laughs> but but I'll throw them in the middle. Yeah, they're, they're not a definite no, not yet. Uh, one of my other favorite episodes. Uh, this was a band that, when when they finally came up and I finally started listening to them, I'm like, how how the hell was I not listening to these guys? Our our good friend Bob France, right. literally for years, telling me you should listen to this band. Yes, and. and not that I didn't listen to them. Like we live in a world now where it's so much easier to finally. Take people's advice. They right, say, "Listen right. to this band." Okay, go download and listen. It's right. so much easier now than just going to buy a record. Uh, I'm going with the Afghan Wigs. Something hot. Uh, I, I'm in the same boat with you mm-hmm. in that Bobby between the the Afghan Wigs and the Twilight Singers, which you guys did. We did Twilight Singers. Yep. Um, that's all I ever heard. For uh, to the ever. point where. Where, where him and Mike finally got... Um, Greg Dooley. Well, they got Rick to get the Twilight Singers to play at the Norva. Oh, yeah. And it got to be Greg Dooley and, and Mark Lanigan. And, uh, and and I was like, wow, okay, you know what? I, I'm, I'm sold. So uh, I've gone back and, and, and done the Afghan uh, wigs. And I'm, I'm good with them. Yeah? Yeah. Push that on through, baby. Yes. Something hot. Yeah. Yeah. And it is hot. Yes. Very sexual band. Like, the Afghan Wigs, yeah. Would it's you, very you, sexy. And if you meet Dooley, uh-huh. he's essentially me. Yeah. He's, 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 <laughs> That's he's, what Bobby said. 
<laughs> Did he? <laughs> well, not in those words. He's like, what's because f- I think that's what I led with is like right. this band is so sexual. Like the the music is very very it's hot, it's right, sexy. Right, right. And uh, he goes, yeah. And Dooley's like this big fat dude up on stage. <laughs> yeah, it's me. It's like you get you get all this like, oh my god, this is, ooh yeah. And then you look at him, you're like, bro, put down the donut, man. <laughs> You know, I, 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 I was hot and ready for a second, and then, it's, is, is that powdered sugar on your beard, bro? What do you, what's the I want to get you hot. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so, I was, so uh, yeah, because, again, the, the music is very, it, it gives you that aura of... Sensual. Oh, yeah, sen- sensual is the right word. That's exactly the right word. And then when you see him, you know, it's like... Dude, well, I was gonna touch myself. I was, I was gonna, and then I saw you eating a you know Italian sausage, and I was like, "Hey, I don't think I'm so hot see anymore. Me. I don't want to see my penis anymore. Let's just move on." But I've yeah. given up on sex. Now. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right, now this one I know is going to be tough for you because I know you like this band. Okay. Did you? I don't think you went to go see that. They were here. They were in Richmond recently at the National. Uh, the Flaming Lips, Race for the Prize. No, I didn't go to see them. I did. Oh, did you? And I don't, again, I hate using the word life altering because it wasn't, but I was blown away. What a great show. What a great live did, show. Did it come out of the ball? Uh, yeah, yeah, they did yeah. all the, the balloons because they opened with Race for the Prize. Right, right. Which right. apparently they do. And right. for some reason, I, I didn't know that, but like I had a feeling that that's what they were going to open right. with. And they did. And it's a perfect opener. It sets a great tone. Um, it's a way louder band than you think. Oh, way, way louder. It's like, wow. Like, uh, I came out, my ears were ringing, and I was like, I didn't expect that from them right, at yeah. all. It's, it, it, and it's such a busy show. Busy, because you fun. Get confetti, the balloons. Mm-hmm. He comes out in a big balloon, yes. and he goes right <laughs> onto the crowd, yep. and they're all pushing him around. Uh, it's, it's Wayne. I can't think of how to pronounce his last name. Uh, but he's a great guy. I actually, one the last time I saw them, they played the Norva, mm-hmm. and I was at the time uh, uh, doing Twitter, and so he tweets out, um, "Hey, where's a good place to eat? I'm at the, you know, I'm, I'm in Norfolk." And I said, "Hey, Hell's Kitchen," <laughs> and he's like, "Thanks." Ten minutes later, here comes the flaming lips into the Hell's Kitchen. I'm like, "Oh shit, yeah!" <laughs> and they seem like that those kind of guys, like just. Nice dudes. I've got the first time I ever worked them. Uh, I was busting balls and some, and, and someone said I'm fat. I said, "Yeah, so what? I'm fat." And Wayne Coit, that's it. Wayne Coit gave me an autograph, and he's like, "Thanks for you know all the help." Blah blah. blah. I guess, P.S. You're not fat. <laughs> I'm like, I love you, Wayne. You're awesome. That's a really nice thing to say. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, we both know I'm fat, but you know what? Thank you. Thank you for trying. Uh, Race for the Prize, great open. Great opening track. Um, At New Year's, I went to Matt Thomas' New Year's party. Right. And, like, I had already done the Flaming Lips episode, but I had basically not retained. Right. And then it started playing, and I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, it's just a great tune. I it's think, fun. Yeah, I, I, I'm with you. I'm good with it. I think that should be the first song on the playlist. Yeah. To set the mood for the yeah. playlist. Yeah. All right, so we're putting that one on through, too? Yeah, I think we're going to put that one on through. Race for the prize. So, so far, we only have one out, which was we both agreed. Propagandy. Right. Out. Ugliography and Ween in the middle. Uh, something hot. Race for the prize in and we're a quarter and we're a quarter of the way in yeah and i went ahead and i ordered these pretty much in the way that i wanted to play them uh-huh. so let me move race for the prize up to the top here boop yeah it's got to be the number that's got to be how you do this playlist all right so <clears throat> i had a tough time picking a song from these these guys the 10 that we chose uh-huh. and because they're all great and all could be a great representative. Uh-huh. I went with this one because it's the first one off of their... I'm a track one guy. All right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm a track one guy. Yeah, that's But uh, it sets a great tone for what the Queens of the Stone Age are. Okay. Um, God, I love the Queens of the Stone Age. And I love the way Regular John is the first song off of the self-titled record. Right. And it's the way you you meet the band. 
and never I don't know that there's ever been a more accurate uh this is what we are and you know obviously they've changed over the years to, right, to what they right. are but like that same core of what regular john is still exists in what queens of the stone age does now i you know what queens of the stone age is not and, and i and i've seen them i've interviewed them uh hung out with them great guys mm-hmm. they're really really nice again mark lanigan at the time when I was dealing with him, uh, he was with the band. Um, but I don't know. I don't know that I want to include them on a top ten. Mm-hmm. So I say I, I'm not. I'm not going to say no. Mm-hmm. Not yet, though. I think I'm going to have to start saying no to some of these bands. <laughs> um, Sounds like I've got the right order, though, for the most part. Because right. two in five or three maybes out of six plays. Right. 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 All right, so we'll keep that right there. All right, so next. Another band that I sh- pretty much should have gotten into a long time ago. Uh, they might be Giants. Um, this, was a song, this was a song that I wanted to ignore because it's one of those ones that everybody's supposed to know. Right. And when I listen to it, I'm like... Big first deal. Of, well, it's like, first of all, uh, if it's a good tune, it's a good tune. Right. I don't care if people know it. And especially on a Discovery episode. They Might Be Giants, that was a Discovery episode. Okay. So, like, I only knew two songs. Only one of them was in, like, the frame of that, that we framed the band right, with. Right, right, right. So, when I heard this one, I was like, nah, that's, that's a good tune. And it's definitive of what the band does. Okay. Don't Let's Start being the song. Uh... Can't go with it. Um, right. if, 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 if you wanted to go with something along, you know, more popular, Constantinople or... Um, See, that wasn't in the frame. Oh, it wasn't? No. What, what about um, uh, Birdhouse in Your Soul? That was in... Uh, that was that made the list. That that one should have been... Um, uh, that one should have been, uh, I, I think, the representative. Yeah? That's, yeah, because he, here's what I'm going to tell you. And I was going to save this for the Iron Maiden episode, and I'll probably bring it up again, and and the Motley Crue episode, is you and I look at things through two different lenses. Mm -hmm. You look at it from a guy who grew up in the 90s, okay, who didn't listen to a lot of, honestly, you didn't listen to to a lot of the popular stuff. Yep. Okay? I mean, you were were an ICP guy for years. Yep. Okay? I grew up in the 80s, and this stuff was all new. Right. Okay? So it didn't have a history. And popular stuff is popular for a reason. Mm-hmm. And it might be... Stairway to Heaven might be overplayed now. Uh, Freebird might be overplayed now. But there's a reason they got overplayed. And they got overplayed because they got popular. And they mm-hmm. got popular because they were the definitive sound of the band at the time. Mm-hmm. Okay? So... When when I make like like I've made my Iron Maiden list, no excuse me, my Motley Crue list, three quarters you you know of the songs are, are, are what you would think they would be, mm-hmm. which I already know is going to be an argument, because Maybe. It, more than likely because you don't like popular songs. Well, and with with those bands specifically, when mm-hmm. I when I listen to those the the songs that you know right, already, right. I I weighed them against the band. Like, is this definitive of the band? Like, right, is right. this what they sound like? If it, if I thought this is what they sound like, and you need this for the conversation, right. I let it slide. Okay, but it, that's not your usual mo. Well, it depends on it. Depends on the band. It depends because on where they're from. You know, like, if if it's an '80s band, you kind of have to do that. Yeah, exactly. Which, which is my point. And so we go back to let's bring it back to they might be giants. Mm-hmm. This is a band that you gotta you gotta hit them with. With what's popular at the beginning now when we talk when we're making this mm-hmm. when we're making this list now when you you make the, the, the they might be giants episode you can obviously throw a couple deeper tracks um you know some some b-sides whatever you want this song don't let it start great for the top 10 list to me not great for the representative song of they might be giants yeah, i get that what i'm gonna do 
is because propaganda's out out. Like that's it's I deleted it. Um, yeah. I'm gonna move this to the bottom just in case we need it. Okay. I don't think we're gonna I don't think so either. But, but you never okay, know. Okay, that's fair enough. Because you didn't convince me that no. Like that it shouldn't. You know what I mean? Like uh, your argument's valid valid. I I agree with you to an extent. But uh it I, it could I, be one of the ten if we can't agree I, I, anywhere I, I, else. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. But moving to the bottom, that's fine. Um, I think I got these ones backwards. Even though I like this next song better, I'm going to go this way first. Right. Uh, let's go with Stone Temple Pilots down. Another another example of a song that. Oh, it, it, God, that's good. It, it's good, but. <clears throat> Do I put that as a, you know, and, and you you you've got to get over your opening track thing too, <laughs> just so because you you'll have you you would have all ten opening tracks, and we got to get past the beginning of the show. Well, see, <laughs> and, with Stunt Temple Pilots, I want to say when you look at the 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 ten we came out with, it's all, it's all hits mostly. Right. I, I think there's a couple deeper ones. Right. But. Again, with Stone Temple Pilots specifically, that's their sound. The hits are the sound. It, yeah, exactly. So exactly. there's nothing wrong with those getting through. Right. For me, I would have put Big Bang Baby. I don't even think that made the 10. I think I put up a fight against it. I, was I on that episode? It was so that me, was, no. James, and Corey. Okay, yeah. So, and that was towards that was in the Norfolk studio. So yeah. it was towards the end. Okay, yeah. I think yeah. it may have been before the week before Depeche Mode, which was... The, the first last. Yes, yes. Um, no. Just no, no? Just no, no. Hmm. Nah, I, I, I gotta give you some dis- definitive answers, otherwise we're gonna be... Some dissension. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, really? <laughs> I'm keeping down, but at this point, <laughs> down, I think, is the better song than Don't Let's Start. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and so gonna, remove Don't Let's Start from okay, the conversation. And, you, and you're gonna argue... And you might argue for Stone. If later. we need it. Okay. If we need it. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm okay with that. Now, I don't... Let's see. Uh, put STP over here. I'm going to... You know what? I'm going to play this one next. Again, I think this, oops, the song ahead of it, I like better. But you got to start making moves here. Uh, when we did this episode, I... This was like the song that I fought for because it was the only one that I knew, and I didn't even know it was them. All right. When I I knew the song from Lost in Translation. Okay. It's Roxy music more than this. Oh yes, <laughs> Roxy, any uh, Roxy music is awesome. I I would have liked Do the Strand, <laughs> but no, yeah, that's. I was I would have been lying to myself if I brought anything other than that because that, his voice is just. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, that's. A... It makes me think of that movie, which I love. It makes me think of that scene. It makes me think of Bill Murray, mm-hmm. who I love. It makes me think of Bill Murray singing that song, which oh. I love. And I makes... see. I, we got. I, I. First of all, I, I love it because Brian Ferry's voice is mm-hmm. incredible, and it's so underrated. And 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 he is he is one of the top three male vocalists vocals out there i don't care what anybody says it, it's is he's got a he's got a voice that could be um that could be sexy that could be um enchanting that could that, that could move you emotionally i'm no i'm i'm emotional this and that's what this song does mm-hmm. it moves you emotionally i fell in love with the man Mm, it does. It, it's, it, it does. It's intoxicating. Like I, I, his I, voice in this song is intoxicating. His voice throughout his entire career, whether it's with Roxy Music or solo, is just incredible. And and again, he doesn't get enough props as a vocalist. Yeah, I mean, it's. I, I had heard the name Roxy Music mm. before. It's just one of those bands that just kind of sure. Yeah, I I never thought about so. Until the show, which that's what this show does. Exactly. You know, let's go the other way. So Roxy Music is on the list. They Ro- made it. Roxy, Roxy Music is in. Mm. And More than this. Yeah. Let's, let's go right here. Metallica, the shortest straw. Damn it. Oh. Why 
why did you pick this one? You had this. And what was the other one that you would have picked? Uh, I'm trying to think of what was on that list. Da, 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 da. You know what? I've got it right here in front of me. I just have to dig it up. Oasis. Go further than that. <clears throat> the shortest straw. Queens. Nah, to surf. It's uh, Stevie. Justin Timberlake. Uh, Talica's got to be coming up here soon. Flaming Lips. Metallica. All right, let me look at these ten. Yeah, well, you know, the only other one that I was really thinking of was No Leaf Clover, just because it was different. All right. I mean, this the ten. Well, we went three deep with Ride the Lightning. Seek and Destroy, maybe. Ride the Lightning, maybe. Fight Fire with my Fire, maybe. Short of Straw. I mean, the only other one off Injustice for All was Injustice for All. Mm-hmm. That's maybe them. I feel that something like that needs to be represented. Um, But I don't know. That's maybe them. Okay. We'll table them. Back. And to the left. Back. Them in the middle, Metallica. All right. Even though I'm pretty sure I know where you stand with this, might as well try it out now. Uh, Sick man of Virginia, sissy fake. Suddenly I see your face. I made it hard too because this is this is a groover. I know. Oh, that grooves. Well, all right. Here's the deal. Uh-huh. One or the I'm, other. Because I'm only going to let one go. Mm-hmm. So, so so sell me. Sell me. First of all, you know how it feels. It should have been sweatpants of love. Uh-huh. That would have been an automatic. <laughs> well, and again, I can't I can't play heavy on Fredo fa- favorites here. Right, right. Well, you haven't... The, <laughs> the only favorite that I... That, 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 that was the, the Roxy music. Everything else is like you're... Pulling teeth. <laughs> uh, well, first of all, that. I, I was God, that's groove. a groove. That's such a groove. Hold on. I just want you to know it sounds. I just want you to know it sounds a little bit like a electric <laughs> orchestra. <laughs> okay. I'm a uh, uh, turn to stone. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> I know. We'll do, that'll be a discovery episode. Eventually, yeah. But I, I, I can't cut it at that. And I can't. I might have. I, I might have to go with. Now, with sick man. To me, again, week high five. The catchiness of it is yeah. the song of 2017. To me. I'm not as a stickler for not having. I'm willing to have two in. I know, I, but I'm I not. I think they're both. I'm, they're I'm, both I'm, worthy. I'm not. Sissy fake. It's such. A, it's such a groove in tune, and I think for the twenty that we have available, it's definitely one of the top ten. Mm. Uh, how many do we have in, in hot standby right now? Four. How many do we have in? Three. Move it to hot standby. All right. We'll uh, we're gonna play around here. Uh, we gotta figure this out because I'm I'm unless we're hurting, I'm not putting two two local bands in. Boom, 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 boom. All right, let's. We gotta trot these ones out. I did the episodes, so they're there. Uh, sexy back, Justin Timberlake. There really was no other choice. I I, I really her. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Take the words. I'm uh. I don't have a problem with this one. Yeah. Uh I don't know if I want to go right in because I because I because I know what's coming. <laughs> and just like with local bands, I'm not gonna let all of these all of these guys slide in. Mm-hmm. So put them in the maybe. All right. But this is a maybe with a star because I think of this next group that you're gonna throw at me. I think this is gonna be more than. It more than likely is going to be the one to go in. Let's put that up there. Uh-huh. And let's stay right there in yep. that well. Mm-hmm. Toxic Britney Spears. Uh, if you would have went with Oops, I Did It Again, it was in. Because that's my go-to. Uh, 
That's my go-to karaoke Local song. Local H does a, a <clears throat> great cover of that, by the way. Who? Local H. Uh, of what? Of Toxic? Of Toxic, yeah. I, you know what? I want to learn to do it in my uh, for karaoke. Yeah. So I can have a Britney Spears set. <laughs> But <laughs> the it, taste it just, it just, I'm on the ride. It's just that, that whole thing, you know. I, I, I can't do the verse. Yeah. I mean, I can't do the chorus. Yeah. Yeah. Just my voice will keep cracking. <laughs> yeah. I right, listen here. We never heard that part. I could do, but when with the taste that you hear, I happen to be. I'm addicted to you. Yeah, you know, know that, that you're toxic. toxic. <laughs> no, I think we're gonna go with the uh, JT. Yeah, over Britney. Yeah. All right, let's. Leave if you did Oops, I did it again. Then uh, that one would have went in just because that's my song. All right, so we're keeping JT in the standby. Uh, all right, let's start playing around here. Let's go with the monkeys. I, she. I, I, yeah. I, yeah, that's going right in. I, I was try. I, I was again trying to figure out which one. She, she told me that she loves me. And I get me to for the stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> so let's see. That's, a, that's yeah. Whatever monkeys. Yeah. It, it was going on. <laughs> that was one of those. Yeah, man. I'm, I love me some monkeys. All right. That was a great episode, too, with Dr. Tim. I had so much fun doing that. I just reached out to him recently. Mm -hmm. He's definitely up to do some more deprogrammed, mm -hmm. which I'm really happy about because he's, awesome. he's a great panel he's, member. He's a, yes. Because uh, he comes prepared. He has plenty of knowledge. And I like him. I like Bobby. I like people who they're not holding it above you that they know more than you. Right. They're teaching you. Right. That's the way I look at it. When when I'm going into an episode with Bob or, or Dr. Tim, right. they know more than me. I want to learn. That's what this show is about for me, right. is learning about what what did I miss about this band. Right, right. It's not, well, you're just stupid. You just didn't like this band. That's, I hate and, 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 well, that's the way I am. <laughs> it's like, uh, you don't like this. You're dude. wrong, dude. You're, you're wrong. Dudes, you're wrong. Dude, you right. picked all the wrong song, dudes. You're, you're an idiot, dudes. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. No, no, I get. I, I I love, I, and I haven't done one with with Bob yet, which I'd like to at some point. We have to figure out a bit because I don't think you guys are even. He's Ze he's taking all the hip hop angles, <laughs> right? But I mean, he could do Zeppelin because he's a huge Zeppelin fan. Yeah, that, I don't know. I don't. Uh, I'm not ready for Zeppelin. No, Zeppelin you, Beatles. You know, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, just no, not ready for that. Right. I, and I, the the thing that bothers me about Zeppelin is the same thing that bothers me about the Beatles. I enjoy them. They're they're I don't dislike them. Right. It's just they're not yeah you, they're not your cup of tea. That's and, fine. Well, and everybody's just been like you like you should like them. You should like them. You well, should like them. It's like you well, shut like, up. Well, here's the thing. And again, you should like them, but like them for somebody like like for me the Beatles. I like early Beatles over late Beatles. You never hear early Beatles on the radio. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so you, you know for Zeppelin. I like some of the songs that don't get played all the time, mm -hmm. you know, and and that's where, for you, that's where it would be good, is is that the deeper cuts. Well, I would. It's not even the songs because like I can recognize the talent there. It's. <laughs> do you want to do you want to take a break? Yeah, let's take a break. We're gonna take a pee, quick bro. one. Yes, because I gotta uh, pee because I'm diabetic and I pee a lot. We will be right back. You won't even notice. <laughs> Just an object to me. Oh. And we're back. Oh. Like we will come back to that. All right, so there's... <laughs> this round only has six more. Let me make sure... Uh, I, I left it running. I just... Yeah. That'll be fun. <laughs> so we only got six more. But there's only six more, so I'm just going to kind of blast through them here. Okay. And get yeses or noes so we can move on to the next All round. Right. Uh, do, 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 do. We'll start here. Car seat headrest. Something soon. No. No. Well, you, you don't. If we're gonna blast through them, then you gotta just accept my answer and not be ready to argue with me. Depeche Mode stripped. <sighs> Maybe. I had. I had to. Because <laughs> I, I knew. I knew that if I picked almost anything else, it'd be an automatic. For right. You. Not a surf. The plan. Maybe. 
Uh, gorillas. November has come. No. Yeah, you know what? I'm okay with that. I really enjoyed the gorillas, but Stevie Wonder, if you really love me. Now, this one, I want to talk for a second. Okay. Because I remember when you when you gave me this, and I listened to this, and I was like, no, and I. You chastised me. Oh my God! For hours. That, that, that I, 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 I put the boots to you. Yeah. I was like, huh. all right. I, I mean, I, I mean, you I, hung I, me in the tree. Whoa, I daddy. did. I did, and I and I felt I had to. To you explained that this was early Stevie. This yep. is '60s Stevie. Yep. It's pretty much right up until '69. I think was the last album. Because before. whatever you do, the next version of Stevie. Mm-hmm. Stevie 2.0, which late, you have that 70s funk. Yeah, uh, late I, 60s and oh, 70s. Yeah, and stuff I, I, I need to be a part of that one. Okay, because that's some, that's some good Stevie right there. That's some, not now that's some good Stevie right there. <laughs> um, but as far as early Stevie, this is this is big Motown 60s sound Stevie. Nah, no. Nah. Now I do want to put this disclaimer on why this song of all the songs okay. of the ten, because. When I was when we were doing this episode, I was being very very snobbish. Right. I was actually looking at song credits, and if his name wasn't at least part of the song credit, right. it didn't get through for me. Which is kind of bullshit. Well, maybe, but like I wanted, I wanted Stevie songs. Well, here's what you got to understand: is that Stevie in the '60s, as part of the most uh, groups in the '60s, had writing teams. Uh, yeah, and so Which like is a, what I, I found out. Right, so. So for for you know Motown you had Hollins Dozier Hollins and you had Smokey Robinson who wrote a lot of stuff um, and so you had these these teams that would write crank out these these songs and would divide them up against the groups and what's funny is that with, the, with, with you would hear these songs recorded by the different groups mm-hmm. so you could have an album where you would have you know heard it through the grapevine yeah on four different albums. Done four different ways, mm-hmm. you, you know, or you know, so, so you had a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, so I, I, I kind of when when you told me that, I kind of scoffed, yeah, at you and your and and, and your and your smug elitist ways. <laughs> well, this one was written solely by Stevie, which is why it was a Stevie song, right? And it leads into part two of Stevie, which is which all is, Stevie oh, from yeah, from here on out. Right. So I'm not wrong. No, you're wrong. You're wrong for the time. <laughs> you're wrong for the time, you elitist prick. Uh, pretty new, Soundgarden. <laughs> I, this, this is another one where it's kind of like, oh, there's so much, there's so many better songs, but Soundgarden is, Soundgarden is my favorite grunge band. Okay. And so it's like, I feel that they have to be there. Okay. But mm-hmm. I don't know that I would have went with Pretty News, but it's a great song. Uh huh. Well, again, it was the episodes that you were on. I had to pick ones that yeah. I knew you'd be iffy on. All right. Because we, it can't be five Fredo <laughs> episodes and then five whatevers. Right, 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 right. right. All I keep hearing is that gu- is that guitar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, uh, um, uh, the other one I was weighing it up against was uh, "Burden in My Hand," just because, like, Chris's voice on that is just. Right. Psh, we'll go. We'll, we'll, uh, you know what? Yeah, it, especially because I'm gonna put the boots to. I already did put the boots to Stone Temple Pilots, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm I'm good with it. Sound good. Grunge needs to be represented. Pretty news. And they are my favorite uh, grunge band. To the top. Top, top, top. So we got five in. All right. Now we got to start putting the boots. Is that it? Is that, were they the last ones? Y- yep. So we got Race for the Prize, Something Hot, More Than This, She, and Pretty News are in. Okay. So now let's start eliminating some of these maybes. We got right. Ugliography, Ween. Queens of the Stone Age, Metallica, Sick Man of Virginia, Justin Timberlake, and Not a Surf. Are okay, the first thing I want to do is take and Depeche Mode. Ugliography and and uh, Sick Man, Sick Man, and put them to the side. Okay, one of the two will go in a minimal. Mm-hmm. So we've got four to pick out of how many? 
Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so this is a either or kind of situation. Right. So, looking at what we have, let's put. Okay, so I got already got sick man and ugliography together. All right, so that's. I hate this because I know what's going to happen. Uh huh. What? Go ahead. This is what's going to happen. All right. Well, I mean, at this point, as much as I love not a surf, I feel like it doesn't belong in the in in the conversation anymore. Because it's up against Timberlake, Ween, Queens of the Stone Age, Metallica, and Depeche Mode. Oof. And I. All right. So not a surf is gone. Yeah. I just you know I love it. I love that song, but <clears throat> and I think we can officially go ahead and. I think we're not going to have a problem getting getting our 10 because we need five. We need four because the other one we're going to do one local band. We can lose Stone Temple Pilots at this point too. Right. So that leaves uh, Sexy Back, Justin Timberlake, mm -hmm. Object by Ween, Queens of the Stone Age regular John, Metallica the Shortest Straw, and Depeche Mode Stripped. So we need three out of these five. One, two, three, yep. Well, what do you say about JT being in? It's the only pop pop that we have, unless you count the monkeys, which... Which is a different era of pop. Yeah. Um, again, I, I, I think he belongs... Right. I think that song. Well, is... at this point, you're pretty much gonna have to convince me. Right. So. Uh, I picked the song for a reason. <laughs> yeah, but you, you pick. You, you know, I'm, I'm saying these groups. Yeah. So it's it's. Uh, you know who I'm. I, the, the groups that I'm for that's left, I'm iffy. Right. Because of the song like the Pesh Mode. It's one of my top five favorite bands, and you, and you come up with strip. <laughs> Out of all of the fucking Depeche Mode songs, you came up with that one. But you should also think about that episode. Mm -hmm. That episode, we missed like six or seven rounds in a row, and we all wanted to kill ourselves. Yes. Like, it was miserable. Right, it was. It was. <laughs> Although, I, I listened to that episode relatively recently. Uh, Hilarious. Oh, I'm sure it is. It's a great episode. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's hysterical, because it's... It's three people ready to put bullets in each other's heads. Um, uh, but Strip got through. Right, right. But the, but Strip got through because, you know, because others didn't. Yeah. And it's kind of like, like Strip, Strip was one of the weaker ones to get through. <laughs> so, uh, who else we got? All right. Let's put JT in. I'm, I'm, I'm good with JT. Yeah, me too. Bringing sexy back. What? All right. Uh, now the one I'm looking at again, and I've I played it as our return music just there. Ween object. It's just it. I I know. It's I, one I, of those songs that just it it still I still find myself singing to it. I know. I, I know because I, you've been doing it the whole time we've been here. And every time I hear it, it stays in my head for days. Okay. Um. What else is left? We got Ween. Ween, Queens of the Stone Age, Metallica, Depeche Mode. And we got to get two of those four. Because I am going to have... Four, five, six. So it's... You got six songs? No, we got six. Yep, six in. And seven, eight, nine. So three of these four. Three of... Yeah. Yep. Ween... Queens of the Stone Age, Metallica, Depeche Mode. Here's here's what I, here's what I'm gonna tell you. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I'm willing to play the game. See, what's funny is Bob thinks it's not a game. This is where the gamesmanship happens. This is the game. All right, are you ready? We got a wheel and deal. Okay. We can go mm -hmm. either Ween or Queens of the Stone Age. Okay. Either Metallica or Depeche Mode, and let both Ugliography and Sick Man in. Mm. Or mm -hmm. we can go either Ween, Queens of Stone Age, include both Metallica and Depeche Mode, 
and then go with either sick man or those are the two ways I'm willing to go well so at this point I I think object is the stronger song over regular John because I agree Ween versus Queens of Stone Age is the way to go okay and of those two I'm taking Ween okay okay uh, you know what I, and 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 we, uh, I'm I'm giving you what you want here. I'll gi- I'll gi- I'm going to give you the ween. <laughs> hey yo. Hello. Phrasing. <laughs> so let's cross those two off. Okay. Now, the choice is yours. Do we do Metallica versus Depeche Mode? Yes. So you want, so, so you're going to let the other two? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's what I want. Biography <laughs> and Sick Man in. Okay. So they're both in. Yep. We're going to give them both. Now, Metallica or Depeche Mode? Yep. Here's what I say to this. Since I'm giving you what you want, uh-huh. I want to go through both, both lists and pull out better songs. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Let me find them. But you get what you want. Yeah. Deprogram new pornographers. Is going I think. Forward. I think. Ford. Bobby doesn't think this is a game. He doesn't think it's a game at all. He's he said that we're just picking picking great songs by bands, and I'm like, it's gamesmanship. It's gamesmanship because we, because this is a top ten list we got to present. Mm-hmm. Nothing else exists except for this list. All right. So Metallica. Uh huh. Cyanide okay. from Death Magnetic right. and Justice for All, The Shortest Straw, which is the one that right. made it, Orion, No Leaf Clover, Fight Fire with Fire, Ride the Lightning, The Call of Cthulhu, The Four Horsemen, Seek and Destroy. Jesus. Can't say I was necessarily wrong with Shortest Straw. Yeah. Seek and destroy is all right. Yeah, all right. Shortest draw. Depeche mode. All right. So let me find Depeche mode. Right on it. Just can't get enough. Just, just can't, can't get, get enough. enough. <laughs> just can't get enough. Everything counts. Black celebration. Stripped. Never let me down again. Behind the wheel. Enjoy the silence. Clean. Walking in my shoes. It's no good. Dude, it's like. Eight songs I would have picked before stripped. Um, I've made myself clear. I, I yes you have, yes you have. But we're but we're playing the game now. Mm-hmm. So now you got to play the game. <laughs> I'm giving you what you want. Uh-huh. Now we got to work the patch mode. Which, so which one would you prefer? Let me hear. Let me hear them again. Just can't get enough. Which which is just so catchy. Uh-huh. Everything counts. Which I love. The live version is amazing. Black celebration. Okay. Never let me down again. Which is that? Listen, back in the day, when I used when I when I used to work out regularly to get into the Navy. So this is this is nineteen ninety nineteen ninety one. My workout tape started with that song. Oh really? Yep. Huh. And from there, I'd go to Just Another Day by Oingo Boingo. Huh. Behind the wheel. Enjoy the silence. Enjoy the silence. Clean. Walking in my shoes, it's no good. I like walking in my shoes, clean. Um, okay, so walking in my shoes, clean, and and uh, what's the one that I just said? Never let me down again. Never let me down again. I would go one of those three, or everything counts. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> It's one of those four. Still not very definitive. Uh, no, but I've gotten it down before. Um, come on, work with me here. I'm giving you what you want. Work with me. Help me out here. Uh, this is going to become painful again. <laughs> <laughs> See? See? <clears throat> um, that's it. That's it. That's all I had to hear. <laughs> all right, so let me move that. Uh, I'm taking a ride with my best friend. Let me move that to... Son of a bitch. Move that to where it needs to go. All right. So now God it's... damn it. Stop doing that. 
So now it's Metallica versus Depeche Mode. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what do we got? Give me the top ten. Or give me the top nine. We got the Afghan wigs, something hot. We've got uh, Flaming Lips, Race for the Prize. Uh, Roxy Music, More Than This. The Monkees, She. Soundgarden, Pretty Noose. Justin Timberlake, Sexy Back. Ha! <laughs> Ween, Object. Uh, Sick Men of Virginia, Sissy Fake. And Ugliography, Week High Five. Uh, Depeche Mode. Depeche Mode. You've got nothing like Depeche Mode. Not at all. I actually agree. As much as I like Metallica. Uh, well, I, I, you know, here's what I, not that Soundgarden is anything like Metallica, but you got something heavy. They're close enough. Right. And you've got nothing close to Depeche Mode. And if we're going to give them a little taste, a little taste. Ten minutes, 35, ten songs, 35 minutes. Never lit. But this picks up my exhaling. Yep. (laughs) <laughs> These are hot mics. I'm telling oh, you. Oh, shit. All right, so the last rundown. Flaming Lips, Race for the Prize, has to be number one. Has to be number one. The Afghan Wigs, Something Hot. Roxy Music, More Than This. The Monkees, She. Soundgarden, Pretty Noose. Justin Timberlake, Sexy Back. Ugliography, Weak High Five. Sick Man of Virginia, Sissy <coughs> Fake. Ween, Uh-oh. Object. And Depeche Mode, Never Let Me Down Again. If yes, you leave. I just lost it. Yeah, we lost here, but that's fine. We, we we lost a little everything. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we're just about done anyway. We're, yeah, we're about done. So, so, I'll drop the uh, the thing in the thing there at the end. Right, ladies and gentlemen, 2017 was not a great year. <laughs> it was it was such not a great year that we're waiting till July <laughs> to put out the best of. Um. But, I mean, the show was still great, and we did a lot of great episodes. All of those episodes were fun. And uh, here's to continuing 2018. There's a lot of great episodes to come. And so far, it has been a blast bringing the show back. I am so happy doing the show I am, again. I am so happy for you, because during the uh, the fall of R&R and, and, and the aftermath and everything that came out of it, you and I would have tons of conversations and the only thing that you wanted back was was deprogrammed. Yeah, I'm I was gonna say the only thing you wanted back was the Pesh Mode. <laughs> but no, you wanted back deprogrammed. And I know that you've been doing quite a few um, episodes, mm-hmm. and I've heard one or two of them, and I, I can hear the fun in your voice. Yeah, and it's it's that's what it is. It's just it's fun again, and I'm not looking at numbers. I don't care. Yeah. Like I want people to listen, obviously, because I'm proud of the show, right. but. If you don't, you don't. Well, you got the guys from Australia or, or from New Zealand. From Scotland. Or from Scotland. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, from overseas. And they listen to the, the show. Nuclear Club. So, Check them out. So here's what I'll tell you. How about this? Mm-hmm. Since, how about we do Spin It with Nuclear Club? That'd be fun. What we'll do is, because um, the first first episode is going to be Depeche Mode Violator. Right. That's my favorite album of all time. Yeah. But how about we do Nuclear Club, the second episode. Okay. We'll listen to it in its entirety. Before we do the episode, so everything's still fresh. Dig it. Dig okay. it. Now, you like it already. Yeah. Yes. So, Nuclear right Fire Club or, or, or Nuclear Assault. Fight or Club. Fight Club. We can't talk about you then. Yep. Um, but Nuclear Club, I don't know if I like you. <laughs> we'll find out. Okay. I'm just letting you know. You might not like what you hear, but then again... <laughs> I might be all about you. You never know. It might be you and I spooning Nuclear Club. Ooh, and we yeah. have the room for it. And we got, yes, yes, okay. It's gotten late. I got to go buy a shirt <laughs> over at Walmart now. Uh, I mentioned this before. You can subscribe on the iTunes. You can subscribe on the Google Play. Subscribe on Stitcher. Uh, like the page on Facebook, Deprogram VA. Um, yes. There's a giant list there. If you like this show and want to be on it, like I said, giant list. Jump in, come come talk bands with me. It's fun. It's a blast. It is. If if there's a band you don't know, and you just want it, it's it's like a band that you've always like just kind of wanted to find out. Get in, man. It's fun. This it, is the best way to do it. This is this is a, it's a blast. And here's the key. The key is, whenever the parameters are set, 
the song, the albums are on Spotify. Yep. So that you never have to spend then you know uh, an exorbitant amount of money to get the albums or really go out of your way. You go to Spotify, you can hear the albums, come up with 20 songs that you like, and then get ready to defend them. Yeah. And, you know, sometime this this new run has been very agreeable. Has it? Very agreeable. What's the most you've had so far? Uh, I th- One in first pass. I think Bruno had eight. Paramore had eight or nine, too. Really? Yeah. Which beat, what was it, Steely Dan. Steely Seven. Dan. Yep. Steely Dan set the record in 2016. Yep. 2017 had nothing. <laughs> so <laughs> Depeche Mode was zero. Well, in the hives, it was zero. <laughs> the hives got one through all the way, I think. And there's but, been a couple where it's been only one got through. Right, right. And that, but the everybody was agreeable on the right. discussion. But, but okay, so so 2016 you had Steely Dan seven mm-hmm. set the benchmark. And 20, think, 2017 nobody. But now in 2018 you're saying Bruno Mars and Paramore had eight. Yeah. Actually, I think uh, Tribe Called Quest last week had seven or eight too. Like, yeah, well, well we, 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 we're looking to see who who set the new benchmark. Yeah. So eight. it's definitely eight. Oh wow. Yeah. It's and it's happened a couple times. So really. Yeah. It's. I, I would love. I Jenny would, asked me. I wonder if people are learning how to play or if it's just the 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 bands that we're choosing because well, Bruno only had 30 songs. That's so. see, see and, and that's the whole thing when you start doing band, which is one of the reasons. To tell you the truth, that I didn't want to put local bands mm-hmm. is because they a lot of local bands don't have enough of a catalog and don't have a, and haven't been around long enough to have really developed a sound. Mm-hmm. You know, um, that's why you, you know uh, that's why I like uh, you know groups with at least five albums. You know, so you can sit there and, and five albums normally over seven or eight years. You you know they've developed and they've kind of morphed a little bit so. Um. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Bruno. I, I, okay. If you had thirty songs, I'm not surprised. Yeah. It's. I mean, it was. It's hard to not hit somebody with a song. Right. So. Wait till we do Iron Maiden. It's gonna be fun. And I'll. I mean, I'll. I'll lay out initial thoughts to you uh-huh. off air. Okay. But I'll say this: I enjoyed all four bands for different reasons. Okay. And I'm very much looking forward to all four episodes. That's for be awesome. very different reasons. I, 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 here's the thing, for me. And I'm looking forward to all of them, but the only person who I know really well is Hat Club, mm-hmm. Andy, and we're doing Motley Crue, right? You guys are doing Maiden. Maiden. You and Andy are doing okay, it. yeah, yeah Maiden. and you. Yep. The other guys, Corey and James, and James, they are the wild cards for me. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't know their tastes. Yeah. So well, and we did we did Cooper Part One with Corey, right? So like you have. Perif. Right. So I gotta go. I, I think I might have to go back to listen to part one just to kind of know how to play the game. Yes. And that's where I'm at. I need to make my cuts. Yeah. I need to make my cuts down to twenty. But I gotta get. I still gotta unpack. Fun. I I, I, I moved Monday to uh, uh, to Holy Lock Scotland, Scott, Scotland, and I'm up. I left to go to this conference that I'm at. Yeah. In this hotel room where I'm wired up like like Sammy the Bull getting ready to rat on everybody. And uh, so now I got to go home. I've got to get the house set up for you guys. But mm-hmm. I've also got to sit there and listen to the stuff to get my 20. Because right now the only one that I have the 20 mm-hmm. is Motley Crue. And I got to find a list. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Exactly. So but I'm looking forward to it. Well, folks... I mentioned all those ways. Oh, you can also follow me on the Twitter machine at the Hulkster. Uh, drop a line, say, "Hey, man, you great," and uh, I'll be like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> It'll be and, fun. You know, and you know what? I got a couple bucks. What can I do with that? You can uh, go over to patreoncom slash oh, hi, Justin. If you give one dollar a month, it gets you early access to Deprogrammed every week. It's going to get you early access to Oh Hi Justin the podcast when it comes out. Uh, hopefully, a week in advance. That's going to be a daily pod. Uh, gets you um, access to Wrestle Pals. It's going to get you access to uh, these ghoul songs. You can listen to them right now. They're all uh, acoustic demos. 
it'll get you access when I get to that next level, when I start recording them electric and when they get drums. And you're gonna, you can hear the actual process of me building these songs as right. we go when for I get, a dollar a month. When I do guest vocals. <laughs> when you do guest vocals. <laughs> yes. And uh, whenever Spin It comes out, hopefully that'll be a... Uh, oh, hi, Justin. Uh, yep. It, it, We'll, the, we'll, we'll make sure that that you know we put it in there with you guys. Anything and everything that I'm doing is going to be under that umbrella, and you can help me continue doing this and replace. You see some of this rickety stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, I, yeah. I gotta agree with you. I got you stuff I need to and replace. And what's great is that what everybody else abandoned you. They, 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 they all went there. But you know what? J- Justin Wilson is standing strong, ladies and gentlemen. He is not about to go down without a fight, and you can help him in that fight with just one lousy American dollar that you just put on that Patreon, Daddy. Patreon.com slash oh hi Justin. And again, I really appreciate anything you can do for that. In the meantime, in between time, learn them and love them, people. We'll see you next week.